My name is Benita Husband. I live in Melbourne, Victoria, and for work, I'm CEO at Pitt & Sherry. We provide engineering and other technical advice to our clients who work in the manufacturing, mining, transport and energy sectors. What was your first experience with STEM? My first experience with STEM was as a young child, I was very interested in understanding the way things work. And if ever someone told me how something worked, I'd like to test it out for myself. For example, someone told me that a sultana was actually a dried out grape. And I didn't know if that was true or not. So we were living in the middle of outback Queensland where it got very hot. And I decided to do an experiment and I put a grape in our letterbox. And after a couple of days, it pretty much turned into a sultana. And so that was at a super young age. I think I was in probably grade one. Um, and from then on, I've always had a love of experimenting, doing science. I love technology. I got involved in programming at school um, when it was sort of first coming out. And I've kept up that interest ever since. What was your favourite subject at school? My favourite subjects at school were maths and science. I really enjoyed maths because you were either right or wrong. You could look up the answer as soon as you'd done a problem to find out whether you were correct or not. And I always was interested in how things worked and I liked to do experiments to test my ideas. So I really enjoyed science as well. I think one of my most favourite things about school though was all of the social interactions with my friends. What did you study at university? At university, I originally studied a Bachelor of Electrical Engineering. Since starting my career as an engineer, I've continued to learn. And as I moved into more management and leadership roles, I went back to university and I did a master's. It's called an MBA, which is a master's in business administration. Why did you choose to study what you did at university? I always wanted to learn something at university that would enable me to have a career using my skills in maths and science. But I was particularly drawn to engineering because of the implications it has on our society. We have really tangible outcomes from our projects that touch everyone in the community. And I also understood that the engineering profession was quite structured. So you could come out of university, go into a graduate program, and you could work your way to becoming a chartered engineer. And that structure of a career development path really appealed to me. What does a typical day at work look like for you? A typical day at work for me is never two days the same in a row. Every day is very different. The thing I do most at work is talk to people. I have meetings, whether they be internal with our people at Pitt and Sherry, external with our clients, or interacting with government and other stakeholders. I often travel for work to go and meet with people and to see our project sites. And I do try and put aside some time to do some reflective thinking so that I can come up with new ideas and contribute. What is the coolest project that you have ever worked on? One of my first projects out of university was the redevelopment of the new Northern Stand at the MCG. That was one of the coolest projects because everyone in Australia knows what the MCG is and when works were going on, everyone was interested in what was happening. So when I was catching the tram to work, I got to hear people speaking about the project that I was working on. And every day or every time I now see a game being played at the MCG, I look around and I can see all the bits of that project that I contributed to. More recently with Pitt and Sherry, we've been doing lots and lots of road projects that I am so proud of. In places like Tasmania, we've worked on the Perth Bypass. We've been working on Western Roads upgrades in Melbourne. And it's, again, wonderful to see the tangible outcomes of those projects and getting to point it out to my family as we drive around on the roads is pretty cool. What is your favourite thing about what you do for work? My favourite thing about the work I do is that we are a consultant, which means that we work with different clients solving different problems. So no two days are the same. And interacting with our clients and other people in the industry I'm always learning and always meeting new people, which is certainly one of my favourite things.